Hey guys, so it's me. I said I would do the second video. Um, it took me a couple more days than I had wanted to, but um, one day I had my hands all covered in tie-dye um, and life has just been a little crazy with being back to school and everything, but here I am. Okay, so the first video I showed you how to do a slip knot, which was taking your two fingers, putting the yarn over, and then you kind of go in, pull this part up just a little bit, and then I usually just use my finger or you can put the hook in and pulling it. Um, and I know I did that really quickly, but there's another video about it. Um, but that's always how you're gonna start. Now this next video is gonna be for what's called chaining, which is the base of any crochet um, stitch. So it's not a stitch just yet, but you need to know how to do it to start and you need to know how to do it to do every other stitch. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to hold the yarn with your hands but most likely in the beginning, you're gonna probably not be able to like loop everything the right way. I know I wasn't able to, um, but you're gonna take, um, I'm, I'm right-handed, so I take this in my right hand. Um, you have the knot that's like kind of snug, not too snug, um, because you're gonna need to move stuff around. Um, and then with the tail, remember we talked about the working yarn, which is attached to the rest, and then the tail is the part that's cut off. Um, with the tail, I'm going to pinch that with my thumb and my um, pointer finger just to kind of give it some tension. Then with my other hand, I take my pointer finger and I kind of um, have the yarn come over it and then I put my fingers around. Um, and then back here, I kind of hold up my pinky. Like I said, this is like, I don't even know how I've developed this. It's been over a long time, um, but um, you probably won't hold it just like that. You probably will find something that feels comfortable right now, or you're actually gonna probably move things with your fingers. And I'm gonna show you that in a second. And I did that for a really long time. So um, no worries, but that's how you start off. Um, and so again, um, my pointer finger, I put the yarn over it kind of wrap my other fingers around it. I tuck the, um, the yarn on my pinky just to create some tension because I'm gonna move this pointer finger up to create some tension. And then my middle finger and my thumb, I pinch the knot. So it's a lot. Um, you just do what feels comfortable for you. I'm gonna show you the motion you're gonna need to do and whatever feels comfortable for you to get that motion to happen. So you're gonna take your hook and you're gonna grab the working yarn. So you're gonna to wanna to create some tension. That's why you have that um, point your finger like that. You're gonna to wanna to create some tension so you can grab the yarn and you're gonna pull the yarn with the hook through the hole, that the loop that is on your hook. So you're gonna grab it and as you're pulling it through, the easiest way to do it is to turn it just a little because as you see with the loop, there's a little bit more space almost in like the teardrop bottom part of it to get the hook through. Because if you just came through straight, it would hook on the loop. So you kind of grab the yarn and I turn it about, you know, like um, 45 degrees almost uh, so that the open part of the hook is facing down. So grab and you're gonna pull it through. So that now there's a new loop on the hook. Um, and then you're gonna do that again. You're gonna grab the yarn. I'm trying to get a good shot for you. Grab the yarn and I twist a little and I pull it through. Okay, again, grab the yarn, whoop, twist a little and pull it through. And that's called chaining. And so doing that is what you're gonna to wanna to practice for a little bit if you're trying to learn how to crochet because that getting that motion is really important. Now, when I first started, what did I do? I would put the yarn over like this and then I would manually with my fingers pick up the loop and pull it over. And I would do it again, I'd put the yarn over and I would manually at my fingers pick up that first loop and pull it over. Now that's not a great solution for the long term because one of the things is with tension, it winds up not being the same. You can even kind of notice here that my last two are um, a little bit bigger than down here. 
but it still can like help you um, get used to some things. And then as you get better at it, you won't have to do that. Um, you do want when you chain, you do want it to be loose because you're going to wind up going into those stitches. And I, so that's one thing I notice with students when I'm teaching them how to crochet, they get it really tight. I'm a pretty tight crocheter, but, um, but they get it like really, really tight because they're like, oh, I got to pull it tight. And then it looks kind of something like this where it's like really tight. You don't want that because those chains are going to be completely useless to you when you go to the very next step, which is single crocheting, because you're going to have to stick your hook into the chains that you make. So you kind of want them to be more loose than, um, than tight. So don't pull too much. I'm going to kind of show you um, that is kind of what you want them to look like. That's the a good um, distance apart, a good tension to it. Because like I said before, our next step in my next video is gonna talk to you about going into those to build your stitches. Um, so hopefully that's helpful. I know I haven't gotten the cinematography all of this down yet, but like I said before, I figured you'd rather just get started even if the shot isn't perfect. And then maybe once I start to learn how to be better with the camera, I can go back and make better shots so that it's neater and prettier. Um, but let me know if you need anything. I hope you're having fun um, learning how to crochet with me and so that you can start to make meeps. I'm excited that I finally got myself together so that I can, um, I can share this with you because it's really awesome when other people are making them and telling me about what it's like for them to give them out to others and hearing back about how people love them. And so I'm glad I get to share this with you guys. All right, bye.